you need help building your team or selling your coins, make sure you head on over to CheapMaticCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And use code WOLF for 15% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a pass play that beats cover four drop, cover four quarters, another play that beats all zones, and with adjustments, you can beat mad defense. I'm going to show you guys those two things in this video today. But before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like on the video. Let's try to get this one here to 256 million likes. No more, no less. We could just stop it at 256. So once we reach that, man, don't even worry about liking the video no more. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel for more content. Become a member of the Wolf Pack. We're going to move the Xbox tournament to next Saturday because this Saturday we had an event going on. Uh, so we weren't able to do it today. So next Saturday, Xbox tournament. Link is in the description. You have to become a member to participate. I will have the sign up links going up in the community section uh, on YouTube for you guys to sign up for that. Also, PS4 players, the complete custom playbook video will be up on the paid member section for you guys here in the next couple days. I'll be working on that probably either Sunday or Monday. Probably work on it during NFL games on Sunday. So members, look out for that in the video section. And then we're going to work on the defensive side so i'll show you guys all the defensive plays in the playbook in a video so it's gonna be a pretty long video all you got to do is just copy the plays into your own playbook now if someone on ps4 wants to make the defensive custom playbook they can it's up to you guys however you guys want to do it all right so we're going to be in the baltimore ravens playbook and the name of the formation is set is going to be the gun wide trips weak now make sure your best route deep route runner is on the left side now, if you're on the right hash, you want to make sure he's on the left. If you're on the left hash, you got to make sure he's on the right. So right here, we're going to be on the right hash. Name of the play is the PA post cross shot. And I'm going to show you guys against cover four drop. I guess it does dollar three, two, six faster backs makes more sense, right? Now on the right hash, it becomes easier to throw these routes uh, because the corners and the, the safety in the corner react differently than if you're on the left hash trying to throw it to the right. You have more space, more time better execution all you got to do really is just get the timing down bro see that's one thing that i don't really have down too well because i don't run into a lot of cover four drop people uh what i run into a lot is cover three people but there are occasionally times where you're going to run into the cover four quarters or the cover three uh cover four drop people so these plays right here are very good they, they won't run cover four no more once you start running plays like this you see what i'm saying and this is what i'm saying you get this nice good space whenever you're on the right hash running it from left to right now you can probably still throw it from the left to the right hash but it's a little bit more difficult for some odd reason they close a little bit better on the hash but i guess because of the spacing and over here since we're limited limiting the spacing there's not enough reaction time for you guys to do anything you know what i'm saying so that's that play right there against cover four drop pretty pretty self-explanatory you just snap the ball on the, on the right hash and you run it that way just run it this last time so you guys can see it Boom, just like this. Take this over the top, click onto the receiver. And what I do is I hold the right trigger, right? I'll click onto the receiver, hold the right trigger, and then hold X to give them the speed boost to try to get ahead of the of the backs, the defensive backs, and then hold X to rat catch it and take it down the field. Now, this play, you can use the same play against cover four quarters. The only problem becomes is it's not the same route that's wide open in cover four quarters. So Okay, white trips weak. Make sure we're on the right one. PA post cross shot against cover four quarters. Let's go ahead and pick something like out of big nickel. <sighs> right here, big nickel over G cover four quarters. Now, the problem is, is the X route's not going to be open. You can run this stock, okay? But the route that you're going to be looking for against cover four quarters is not the X route. It's actually the RB route, okay? Over here on this left side. And if you have enough time, enough speed, whatever, you can take that down the field. Now, I should put Austin in that position. I should not have Cobb in there. I should have Austin. He's the second fastest receiver. So that's what you want to do. Your second fastest receiver is going to go on that side. Right there, this guy just shedded me. And that's my fault. This is another thing that you guys need to learn and put into your minds already. And what I mean by that is the double team uh, ability for you guys to double team people. So the way you do that is you press LB or L1, right stick down for double team. And then we're going to put it on forward because this guy is the best pass rusher on the 49ers. And we got to make sure that he's contained while we're trying to throw these deeper passes. You see, now they're going to be looking for the double team on this guy so he can't get to me like he was, and then we're going to hit this guy over here. Now people are going to be like, whoa, they'll just user that. They'll be like, yeah, you're right. So let's go ahead and try to throw the user off. So the way you throw the user off is two ways. You put X on a slant, okay? Now what you want to do is you're going to double team forward, okay? Then when you snap the ball, you're going to try to like, like, 
what is it like manipulate the user and what i mean by that is i'm going to take my quarterback right and i'm going to motion myself right to make it look like i'm going for the x and then i'm just going to come back over here to rb you know what i'm saying and you can actually do that first you don't even have to run the play stock like i was showing you guys from the jump you can actually just do that first you can just you know instead of just running a stock just put x on a slant double team their best pass rusher okay put yourself right right like that now that's one thing you're gonna have to be be careful of is that these guys shed off the line or they got that edge straight ability you got to be careful because you really can't you're playing with fire doing something like that bro you know what i'm saying and since it's play action i don't think slide protecting actually works even if you cancel the play action it doesn't work but you're seeing right here now you're like okay well the user is picking up on that constantly so the way we're going to manipulate that is what we're going to do is we're going to put x on that slant right then we're going to motion gallop over here and put him on a streak. Remember, I know how cover four quarters works. I don't know how to explain it to you guys the right way, but I know how to manipulate cover four quarters into my favor. So now the user is going to be looking at RB. He's like, man, I'm going to cover that crossing route. We double team this guy, right? And now with this setup, the way we're, we're confusing their match assignment, now we have this guy wide open on this side of the field for a possible one play TD, depending on if he can burn these guys. And that's pretty much a one play TD if you run it right against cover four quarters. Now, what's cool is, is you can actually take the play, flip it and run it on either hash against cover four quarters. See, it doesn't have the same reaction that it does with cover four drop. You can run these setups on any hash against cover four quarters. So right here, we're going to put B on a slant. OK, and then we're going to motion Cooper over. So now we're giving different looks against this. Now, the, the, the user is looking for them crossing routes. That's what he's worried about. He's worried about that crossing route. And that's fine, but they gave up on the B route. And that's the way the match assignment works in this game. These guys just dip on the routes, bro. And it's another one play TD against cover four quarters. So you see those two setups. Uh, those are the two best setups for cover four quarters. I wouldn't recommend you guys doing anything else besides doing that and making sure that you're double teaming the people that you need to double team, because if not, they're going to give you the work. They're going to give you the business, bro. So stock right here is going to be the RB route. And if the user starts picking up on that route right there, what you're going to do is you're going to slant X, okay? And then motion this guy over and put him on a streak, okay? Now the user could jump the RB route, but the X route's going to be wide open. So this leverages the play to your side. You're scheming. You're just trying to throw the user off. And that's what you're doing right here. These guys give up on him. I'm just going to possession catch that and get the yards. So you can flip it, run it on either hash, however you want to do that. Now the next play that I'm going to show you guys is going to be out of the same formation and set and it's going to be called and it's just like the saints playbook it's going to be the sticking up the saints playbook have something similar to this um but like against cover two defense you could run this play however they want to run it let me just go ahead and just let's get rid of this play real quick because it's three deep so if someone's running three deep on you you're just going to run the ball on them so the way i like to run this right here is i'll take this guy and motion him in all right, and then I'm gonna streak A, okay? Just like that, put RB on an out route. Now you're like, okay, well, the user probably just gonna pick that up. But this is gonna leave this guy pretty much wide open. Now, what I do suggest is if you're gonna throw it to the right, if you wanna throw it to the right, make sure you have the space. So like right here, since I'm on the right hash, I wanna throw it to the left. That'll help me break down the zones a lot easier than trying to have no space. So remember, it's only dependent on the cover four drop beating version, but if you're gonna run something else like this play right here, you probably wanna be on the right hash and then run these, these, these routes opposite, you know what I mean? So right here, we're gonna just take A and streak him against cover two, and then put RB on an out route like this. Just like that, man, you know what I mean? Now, if we have the time, not, I'm assuming we're gonna have the time, but sometimes you're not gonna have time. That guy, I, I, that was weird. That that looked weird right there. I felt like I could have done a little bit more with the streak over there, bro. It looked like he wasn't even gravitating toward him. So let's go ahead and do it again. And you know what? I didn't even motion this guy. I don't even think I motioned him in on that last play. But you want to motion him in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to double team this guy because he's a problem. No lie. Streak A. Okay, because we want to clear out the zones as fast as possible. And you could actually put RB like on an in route if you want to do that as well. So if they're heavy blitzing you, you can in route this guy. And then you're just going to look for this guy. You see what I'm saying? Alternatively, you can run it flipped however you want to do it. Um, it's going to work the same way against cover three defense. Uh, if they press you base line in cover three, then you throw streaks over the top. Very simple. I'll teach you guys that in another video, how to, how to read the cover three 
and then beat all that. So this could be a setup right here against cover two defense. Um, and then we're just gonna motion this guy in. We wanna limit the time or the space. We want the space, but we want our route to be ran effectively. So motioning him in will guarantee that. I didn't double team forward, bro. And just throw this over the top like this, simple. Okay. Now the reason that happened and it was close for Sherman is because of this. I'm gonna show you guys how to how to uh, stop that. So the reason he's able to do what he did right there, where he backed up, is because there's nobody forcing his zone. So, and what I mean by that is nobody's forcing his zone play. So we're gonna take RB and force the zone play for Sherman. That's why I put him on an out route a lot of the times. Then I'm gonna motion this guy in. So you're fo forcing the zone play, which means if it's a cloud or if it's squat, they're still gonna have to respect the RB route no matter what it is in cover two defense. The two streaks will clear out this middle streak. I got actually A over the middle of the field if I want. Then boom. So theoretically, you could put a fullback. Well, I don't know if they'll let you. Let's see if they let you real quick. Let me just see if they let you, bro, because I think it's important. Put your fastest tight end in that position and you're good to go against cover two. But let's see. Let's see if I can put that fullback in that position because in some you can, some you can't. Uh, yeah, this guy. This guy's got speed and that's what I want. So I put a fullback in his position. Then I'm gonna come back to the same play, but I'm just gonna come out with it flipped already because I'm on the right hash or whatever. I'm in the wrong formation, bro. Ah, oh, I didn't I didn't substitute him out of the right formation. So let's just do this real quick. Right here. Okay, I want that fullback right there. And you're gonna see why. So we're gonna run sticking up, flipped against cover two. Random cover two doesn't matter. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna put A on a streak. RB on an out route. And then I'm going to pay attention to that streak because this guy's faster than Witten. Double team my man over here. Okay. And I'm going to see because he's got more speed and then just try to hit this over the top. Now, depending on depending on your quarterback and gunslinger abilities, you could probably get that ball a little bit faster. So it's just something you're going to have to mess with with your personnel. Okay. It's not really good for the Cowboys, but you can do it with your personnel if they're good enough. So A on a streak is the base setup. This is going to be the base setup for pretty much every coverage uh, in the game. Same thing. Now, one thing before we do get out of here, a lot of people do run man defense. So we're just going to run cover two man. I'm going to show you guys a technique that I use. Out of the same formation, um, if they're running a lot of a man defense, you can run something like this. Let me show you real quick. There's not really a good, very good man beating plays here. I mean, Z under. But I'm just going to use the same play. So sticking up, okay? Actually, I'm not even in the right formation again, bro. Those two are confusing me, man. I'm telling you guys right now. Okay, sticking up. Same thing. And then we're going to run cover two man. Let's run it out of uh, dime normal. All right, so we're going to go ahead, double team forward like that. Now, the way I do this is I put it outside and inside route. And why I do that is because whenever I'm playing someone that's higher tier, they like to shade outside or they like to shade inside. So what I like to do is put both of those type of routes on the field. So I'll put a zig, which goes to the outside, and I'll put a smart route, an in route for the B route. Like this. So it'll look like this, and then I'll put A on a streak to clear out uh, players. So I have the zig and I have the RB route. Now, since Cooper's a very good route runner, he's the guy that you're going to want to look for first because he's going to get... And that guy just came at me, bro, like insta shed it and that's something in Madden that you guys got to worry about is you're going to get insta shed it so we're just going to what we'll do here is we'll max protect okay and then we'll motion this guy in put him on a zig and then put b on a smart route in route like this then we just watch what happens boom i have x i have b i have rb i have all these routes open in man defense i can pick and choose the one that i want so if you're getting shedded like that you're going to want to max protect okay and then motion these guys in put a zig I don't recommend slant routes either, bro. I'd rather you guys run in routes than slant routes. You know what I mean? Unless like you got something that's really good. Um, and we, we could actually run sticking up the way it is if, you're, if your route runners are good. So right there, I had RB. It's just the, the pressure is there, bro. Like it's just the way it is in Madden 20. It's just there. Okay, so we could technically run it like that. All we have to do is clear out the blue. So put A on a streak. Uh, leave B where he's at. I'm going to double team forward. Although he's not the one that's giving me the trouble right now, bro. It's someone else. And then slant B. So it look like this, okay? Bunch of man beating routes like that. You can look for the sticking up version right here, which is the X route. Wide open, and we just decide to throw the ball away. So that's how you pretty much beat man. You just got to verify and know 
what routes beat man slants crossing routes drags in routes zig routes trail routes if you can get them open but in mutt it's hard because sometimes you get clamped down on purpose so you'll want those abilities on those on your receivers so route specialists uh those type of wide receivers that you need to put those abilities on anyway make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more content love you guys man peace